esteemed audience sometimes we rise sometimes we fall sometimes we shine sometimes we don't but on this stage debate makes us all great indeed this is the great debaters contest and the such continues in western region i am your host esperancia kapanga and i am chris buru the motion being debated in this debate is africa cannot do without the west in the proposition we have a salwa secondary school and in the opposition we have buka academy Proposal number one, you have three minutes to make your submissions. The destiny of a lion cub is to become a lion even if it is raised among the sons of men. However, the man's help still remains the key to the cub's survival. It is I, Timothy Okok, from the Esala School. I'll start by breaking down the motion that states Africa cannot do without the waste. According to the Encarta Digital Dictionary, the word waste refers to countries of the continent Europe and America. The motion hereby means that Africa cannot Africa cannot manage cannot adequately manage its sustenance without assistance from the America. Have you ever asked yourself about what will happen if western based organizations like the UNDP, the CAAP, the Red Cross or the WHO withdrew their assistance from Africa? The results are unimaginable. Africa, on to my first point. Africa cannot do without the West because it still needs food and medical assistance. It receives and continues to receive from the West. This is because Africa lacks sound agriculture and, and food security abilities. According to www.americanprogress.org, countries like Morocco, Tunisia, and Libya that lie North Sahara lose 1,000 square kilometers of their Arabian farmland each year. And Europe and some, like Egypt, have half of their cultivated farmland threatened by salinization. Meanwhile, a daily drought and famine continue to stalk sub-Saharan Africa and the UN, as per 2017 report, estimates that 16 million people currently need humanitarian assistance of up to 30%. All this is evident enough all this is evident enough and not that Africa is not in stable capacity to fully, fully meet to fully, fully, fully meet STG number two, zero, anger, and STG number three, good health and well-being for all inhabitants with truth undeniable and facts and with truth undeniable and facts reliable. It is I, Timothy Okok from Esalabuz. First proposer, you have three minutes to make a statement. I refuse. I refuse to be branded backward. I refuse to be discriminated economically. I refuse to be called third world. I am Africa. And I am Magero, Magero Michael from Booker Academy, an antagonist to the motion that states Africa cannot do without the West. Africa refers to the countries below the Mediterranean Sea, stretching down up to the Cape on its south. To oppose cannot do means to be able. The West is a term collective for European and American countries. So Africa is capable without the West. To begin with, formation of African economic blocs such as Southern African Development Committee has enabled states financially and helped its economic growth, such as Namibia. SADC has been doing this by removing all trade barriers, such as high tariffs on multinational, multi-international trade. Furthermore, there is free movement of labor, capital, and services amongst themselves. This is adopted from www.sadc.int. Secondly, SDG number one on poverty has without a doubt been adopted by African countries. One of these ways is by acquiring loans from the West. But what Africa does not notice is instead of achieving this goal, it is obliviously backtracking on it. This is adopted from www.developmentinafrica.org. African countries tend to borrow loans that they are unable to pay, hence hindering development. Africa should embrace internal taxation organizations to sustain, and to sustain the financial standards like Ethiopia have already begun. Thank you. Second proposer, you have three minutes for cross-examination. In every occasion, there must be a fool and a wise. And today's motion is going to distinguish the two. 
And that's why time and ability plus double capacity has automatically forced me to stand on this podium, ready to give points housing from my lamos pendulum of my vocal cavity to give facts that Africa cannot do without the West. I can say my able audience, my honored judges, and my worthy opponents, if my opponents are coming here to tell us that Africa should import high taxation to Africans, I wonder if we are really Africans. We want the government to import high taxation to you. Really, I think one, somebody once said homogeneous confusion is common among people, but today I've seen it with my naked eyes. Africa cannot do without the West because it still relies on intervention of to quell internal feuds and internal disputes. According to AmericanProgress.org, it said that Africa was the largest contributor to convict, convicts of political, large political wars. And among the stated heads of states were, I think even if I ask you, the heads of states were, that were convicted, apart from Kenyan leaders, you will not be able to know because you don't know. I want to say Africa leaders like Bagbo Lorey of Ivory Coast, Jose Eduardo of Gabon, and Mohamed Musi, recent leader Mohamed Musi of Egypt, were convicted to the court. And I want to say Kenya, in 2007, Kenya ex witnessed a bloody post-election violence where Kenyans were killed and the case were taken to ICC. Why were they taken to ICC? Because Africa lacked integrity and its own trust to solve the, the problems arising. Again, in 1994, there was a Rwanda-Burundi engaging in a deadly genocide, where, surprisingly enough, the cases were also taken to ICC in Egg. The question is, does Africa have able courts? And if it does, why does, they, why does it able to solve such cases. I want to say that. I want to plead with my worthy opponents. Just join us because Africa cannot do without the West. Recently in Kenya, there were Cuban doctors that were imported to assist us in diseases. I think the West has really assisted us. If, if we are saying that Africa, we can be on our own, then why are we going for loans? Why are we going to be sustained? There, was, there, there, is arid, there has been arid, aridity in in many parts of Africans. And I think uh, without the West, we cannot do the, with that. The school is I see as a salwa. The name is Alvin, and debate is my game. Second opposer, you have three minutes for cross-examination. My, oh my. It has been said that <laughs> Africa must depend on the West. But let me take you back to our families. A family in Kenya and its setup, for example. In our childhood, our parents, they feed us, they clothe us, and they school us. When we get married, they go an extra mile to buy us utensils. But the question is, should we wait till they build us a house? If yes, what mindset are we developing? As I now delve into my illustration, and I begin with a quote from Mahatma Gandhi, a no uttered from the deepest conviction is better than a yes merely uttered from a, to please or to avoid trouble. On to my first point. The negative impact of foreign aid to economic growth has several implications. Furthermore, foreign aid is given according to the political needs of a country, but not economic. This leads to major economic problems and leads to support of unproductive projects that may damage our economic growth. This research is from www.omicsorigin.com. I am Omula Stanley from Booker Academy. On to my next point. There is an unmistakable moral and imperative 
for humanitarian organizations to get involved in crisis situations such as the big Haiti or uh, perhaps the tsunamis or a more term that we are used to, African hunger. This type of aid is efficient for lessening immediate suffering. However, it is not a solution to the long run and does not help provide a platform for the sub-Saharan countries to establish and establish their sustainable development. It may have been a success. It may have been a success with the US Marshall plan in the late 1940s. But more recent foreign, but more recent foreign organizations have found to hinder development where the where it is indisp indispensable. They involve so much money, more money that was used or more money that could be used to rebuild European countries after the World War II. This information or this research is from the Journal of International by Juliet Lyons, and it was published on the 13th of October, 2014. And now my question is, is Africa able to be independent? The answer is yes, we have the resources. Our resources such as wildlife, we have the minerals, then why not? Why should we keep on running to foreign countries or according to this motion, to the West to provide us for help? Yet, with our resources, we can manage it ourselves. And the question to the proposers, as much as they decided to convict our cases in the ICC, the question is how many of other politicians have been successfully convicted or how many have been convicted and walked out without any charges. So I would like you to join me and support Africa in the stand that we can support ourselves and we do not need the West. I rest my case. Thank you. The proposers have been asked, if yes, Africa cannot do without the West, how will we eventually repay the help we are getting? Or is it that we're getting the help with no strings attached? The opposers have been asked, if indeed Africa can do without the West, why do we still keep going back there for help and aid from them? <laughs> Third proposer, you have three minutes to respond. Thank you. It is Jasir Barak of Esalo Boys High School. In response to the question posed by the audience, we are talking about uh, aid from the West, and you are asking me uh, the various methods that will be used to repay the aid. I want to tell whoever posed the question that this most of most of the aid we receive from the West uh, comes from comes from charity-based organizations. The UNDP. The UNDP does not give us aid in form of loans, and also the Commonwealth African Assistance Program does not. Ha, I'm, I don't have any records of the Afri of the of the CAAP giving us loans, and uh, the Red Cross also works on a charity basis. And and we say, and when we when my first proposer spoke, he spoke uh, he spoke in terms of help, not loans. Riddle, riddle, ladies and gentlemen, all my calves, the rest have touched. My self-sufficiency is unmatched. Integrity and wealth I have found. In gold and gems, I am bound. Sustainable development is my ground. What am I? The West. I am Jasir Barak of ICS Isalwa, pro third proposal of the motion. And uh, a big domestic market is the cheapest superhighway to benefit from potential economies across the globe. But how big is the African domestic market? Can it, can it adequately facilitate sustainable development? Africa cannot do without the West because, it's, because it still relies on countries from the West as trade partners of major export commodities. According to the AmericanProgress.org, countries like Britain, the US, Russia, Netherlands, and others contribute to, the largest, contribute to Africa's largest partners in terms of international trade. The site attributes this to the superiority of the international trade market compared to the African domestic market. According to the report, 
on the site, most African states have specialized in exportation of raw materials rather than focusing on production and trade in VAPs. VAPs are value-added products. Because of this, however, rich, because of this, however, however, however much the rich resources country, the, the rich countries, the, the African countries be rich in resources, they cannot improve their performance economically and industrially because they keep on import, they keep on importing their resources contrary to what the Western world is doing. Countries in the West use their economic resources to produce value-added products and then export the value-added products to, country, to, countries, to countries in Africa here. So this therefore cannot meet the sustainable production and consumption, say, sustainable development goal adequately. Savage, savage lies the truth will term, and veracity will make developments frame, and honesty defames affliction's name. I remain the African boy child, Jasir Barak of ICSC Salwa. Thank you. Third speaker, you have three minutes to respond. To my opponents, when we speak about the UN, what you've just explained is not loans. You've just explained about grants offered to African countries by the UN. We were speaking about the loans, not the grants. And then, a child toddler, to the question asked by a Salwa boys, a child toddler, when, when a child is brought up as a toddler, the child gets to 18 years old and is still treated as a toddler. The child will still think like a toddler. And by 30, if no one is there to teach him or her or let them learn on their own, they will always be toddlers. Africa is expected to learn on its own. If it's not let to, let to learn on its own, there's no way you expect them to learn. Before science, on to my point. Before science, we had medicine. Before letters, we had Egyptian hieroglyphics. Hieroglyphics, and before the great Burj Khalifa, we had the great pyramids at Gaza. And before the structural constitutional based government that the Western countries brought to us, we had governments like Samori Tourist Government, according to the Evolving World Book 3, which was very well organized and very well presented. On to the universities. Don't ask me who's influenced me. Alone is, not made, alone is made up of the Lambs is digested. Our university, Zigi, the University of Pretoria in South Africa, is ranked wildly, wildly as one of the topmost universities in the world. Where are the rest of those Western universities you claim are better than ours? On to foreign aid. $161 billion are coming into the sub Saharan as tax, and, as it, and it, has a net, it is a net credit of $41 billion, according to the Al, Al Jazeera Digital News. The question is, how do you ex what developments have been made in the sub-Saharan sub -Saharan, with all this foreign aid? They're getting so many billion, billions of dollars from the Western. What developments have they made? Clearly, the loans are not helping in any way. On to my final point. A patient needs a doctor in order to heal. I totally agree. But does, but does the doctor continue to heal or stay with the patient after he heals. With all, said, with all that said and done, I, Tenina, and Masaka clearly see that Africa doesn't need the West. The 50 plus year old country, Kenya, and the decade of ages year old countries in Africa need to be allowed to walk on, on two feet. It's high time the toddler is allowed to walk on its own. Thank you. Proposition, you have one minute to make a final submission. Once and again, I'm before you. My fellow opponents asked, example of university in the West, have you ever heard of Oxford? Have you ever heard of Harvard and Statmo? I want to say, before you come to the podium to give your submission, please do a research well, and please be informed. I want to tell you that if you are not informed, then follow me after this debate. I'm going to buy you a, a new set of television so that you can be informed. Again, you are saying that I think you don't know the meaning of AIDS. Aid. The aid does not necessarily mean loans. The ARVs we are using to, pre to prevent and we are all using to sustain people living with, with HIV and AIDS. They are aid from the West. Tell me an example of African organization coming up with medicine to help this. I want to say, and I want to end by saying that indeed 
What I started by saying that in every occasion, there must be a fool and a wise. And today's motion is going, is going to distinguish the two. Thank you. Opposition, you have one minute for a final statement. On to my final point and my final conclusion. I do not say AIDS. You should be more keen on your listening skills. In thinking, let's think broadly for that matter. In school, students learn aided by their teachers who never continue to teach them once they pass the evaluation examinations, or do they? You're in high school right now. Have your primary school teachers followed you to high school to continue teaching you? It has already happened in satisfactory amounts. And so the West should give Africa time, space and benefit of doubt to fly by its own wings as it has been documented by our able opposing team. Let us all together refuse aid from the West because there's no development it's leading to. It's causing our country more harm than good. We are being injured. The next generations from then on are required to repay loans, 50 years, loans of people living 50 years ago. It's not fair to the toddler generation that is coming. Thank you. Africa cannot do without the West. So for you, the proposers, it was purely to show us the detriments or the challenges we have currently as Africa and how often the Western nations have come to help us. Even in this country, even during the post-election violence, how we see the Secretary of State from America and the likes, and there's a lot of pressure from those Western countries. Where were these examples? And so for your end, it was a clear show that we needed to see how these challenges have been unable to be solved by ourselves and why we have always had the West coming in to help us, okay? Yes, I had a few mentions here and there, but, but some of them were really hanging statements, at, especially on the end of Alvin uh, and the others. To Buka, well-spoken uh, team, and I thought that was a commendable thing to note. To note. Uh, but Ogola, when you come in, in fact, I asked myself, where are the submissions? Because you only utilized one minute and some seconds. It means you were left with another minute and seconds unutilized. That tells us you had not gotten much of the submissions that we expected. Nonetheless, in terms of the motion that we can do ourselves, and yes, we can. I love the element of the burden that is left behind, especially towards the ending that was given in by Tanina. But there were, could have been more to show that we can be able to do this. Show us the journey of the progress we have done as Africa and where nations have really stood out by themselves. Isalwa Boys High School. The judges awarded you 66%. Let's give them a round of applause. Buka Academy. The judges awarded you 67%. Let's give them a round of applause. Congratulations to Buka Academy for being the greater debater in this debate. Thank you very much for staying with us in this debate. Keep the conversation going across all our social media platforms. The hashtag is GDC for SDGs. I have been your host, Esperancia Kapanga. Until the next episode, I've been Chris Boru. Stay tuned.